afternoon guys hey so welcome to the balcony I'm vlogging on the balcony I'm vlogging on the balcony and I haven't done the vlogging on the balcony for at least at least a week maybe a little bit more so today as you can hear it's raining okay so a little couple of little updates today um, I had to get rid of the plants along my balcony here um, uh, they were some people were worried that they were going to grow up this pillar here and get into the roof so I had to cut these out which a bit of a shame uh, because that was giving me um, a little bit of a cooling effect during the day so uh, yeah that's where we are okay so I have some paperwork here so as I said um, I've been doing this uh, this project to um, do my bike so here we go this is my new OC for my bike it's what I picked up yesterday it has the stamp on it down here so this is official and the registration number is up here which it marries to the back of my bike and that's there hey Rocky how are you doing so that's what I'm doing now to go with that this this is my paperwork for the insurance third party for the registration okay which is called the C CPTL or CPLT so this and this means I can ride my bike no problems at all okay Now this document is also from Alpha. Now this is my insurance for me, the bike, and anything that actually happens to me. So this is valid until uh, the end of July. And this will cover a new bike so this is insured this insurance covers me up to 93,000 peso for the bike uh, and they will give me a new bike if anything happens to it it also insures me against any hospital bids or any other damages that occur so this is the bit that's mine for me okay what else do I have here um, yeah, that's my ID so this is my bike registration and that goes with my other one so that proves that I actually purchased the bike now I have to carry that documentation with me whenever I travel this is the sales receipt uh, so all of that information is actually carried with me when I travel because that's what is actually asked so when you go and get stopped at the, at the checkpoint points by the police or when you get pulled over uh, they want to see that you actually own the bike that there is actually a, a, a insurance documentation for the registration and that there is uh, information at your address that marries to your ID and marries to your license at LTO so that all goes into here and then what I do with this is I will photocopy all of this this week so tomorrow I will go and photocopy all of this and I will keep copies in on the bike but the originals stay here in the apartment so that's what I do see you later Rocky take care that's my landlord so today also I went and renewed my bike insurance 
from the end of July for one year. So this then is my new insurance documentation. So when I travel, okay, so I'm hoping within the next two weeks I will be able to travel. Uh, this is my new insurance documentation, which allows me to take my bike anywhere uh, in, the, in the Philippines. So here we go. So I can see, there we go, a motorcycle policy. Um, so I have my registration, but I also have my bike policy. Uh, and this is all with a company called Alpha. Okay, uh, now Alpha are based at the Regency Regency Plaza on Mag Magsaysay. Um, and the reason I use them is that they were recommended to me uh, by uh, a government official at PRRA. And PRRA, for anybody that doesn't know, is my visa. That's my visa uh, so with the government. So that's my retirement visa within the Philippines. So that's update. So conclusion on the bike, all ready to go for another year and I can go and travel and I can feel safe. Okay, so that's with the bike. Also, what I will be um, renewing uh, in the next two to three weeks will be my medical cards. So I have a uh, an easy plan uh, MediCard that uh, covers me up to 100,000 pesos for uh, anything that happens in any of the hospitals, at any of the seven major hospitals in the Philippines. So when I travel, I have that card. I also have a dental card, which is I pay for each year, which covers me for my dental work. Uh, because for, for those that don't under, don't know, uh, I actually have a metal plate in the, my face here from a car accident I had when I was back in the UK. Uh, that's when a truck hit, hit me from behind and pushed me into my car, steering wheel, the dashboard, the windscreen. So this took a couple of years to rectify and sort out and it's also a problem I, the problems I have with my teeth because the teeth were all smashed in I had to have new teeth put in and stuff like that so uh, that's why I take out the medical insurance so that's what I've done Ooh, that's what I've done today now the other thing um, a couple of weeks ago I did a vlog and uh, I was um, talking about uh, eye center so I went to the eye center to look for a laptop, uh, either an Air uh, or a MacBook uh, Pro, and they're around about 80,000 pesos, uh, which is a lot of money and there's a lot of investment. But my computer here that I'm using at the moment has had a couple of updates in the last 12 months from Windows and it's it's not getting any younger it's about six to seven years old so the updates have really taken its toll on my laptop uh, and I need to find something else so I went over and had a look at SM uh, SM City I went to uh, Abriza and I went to SM Langen and none of none of these miles actually have stock um, of Apple products in their store. Oh, now, I was questioning this and I was under, back in the UK, when you look at something, or you're in America, you're looking at something, and you're looking at our eye center, that shop is managed and owned by Apple, and the Apple products uh, carry the warranty. Here in the Philippines, it's different. It might say I center, but the shop is owned by, let's call, I don't know, let's call the man Harry. So Harry owns the shop and he can put the merchandising and the artwork of I center or uh, the Mac center on the store 
but he buys the stock and puts it into the shop he doesn't actually sell the product for Apple he sells Apple product so I found that a little bit um, a little bit disconcerting really because it doesn't give you any warranty because the warranty is with the person who has purchased the iPad or the MacBook first so if Harry buys the iPad and the Mac then it might be brand new to him and it's all in the packaging and all in the box and everything like that however the warranty stays with him because he's on the original sales receipt it doesn't come with you so really what you're doing is you're buying a second-hand product when you buy a brand new unboxed so yes it's a challenging world so today I went to Gisano Mao down at JP Lario and I went to the Dell Center so I walked into the Dell Center and I'm asking questions regarding uh, the 13 inch XPS uh, 512 SSD uh, it's got uh, 8 gigabytes of RAM or 16 gig of RAM now on the Dell Center online when you look at it it turns around and says it's about 13 uh, 1300 dollars okay um, so you go okay 1300 dollars is around a around about 70,000 peso, 80,000 peso. So I'm talking to the guy in the Dell Center uh, and it, he can get me a, get me one of these products comes with a one year warranty uh, but the warranty isn't with the shop the warranty is with Dell back in the USA so if anything goes wrong with the product I have to contact Dell in the USA and ship it back to Dell in the USA a little bit disconcerting again so then I asked him the price 119,000 pesos yes 119,000 pesos that's an additional 40,000 pesos over what you can buy online from Dell and ship to the Philippines now you can buy that from Dell and you can get it shipped whether it arrives here in the Philippines at your address after you've paid the money is another another area that I have not looked at but I will have a look at it I went to the Acer shop in G, um, Gisano Mal today. Uh, Gisano, uh, the Acer shop closed. Doesn't have any stock. All the stock is still in storage. I don't know where it's in storage, but it has a person standing there in the shop, but they can't sell anything because they don't have any stock. All the shelves are empty. Um, and the reason I'm not actually vlogging this in G, Gisano Mal is because the security guards in there were not happy with me vlogging so I'm vlogging on the balcony vlogging on the balcony now I also went to a, the HP store uh, they have an HP store it's on the third floor uh, and it's just along from the Dell, Dell store uh, but the, the G, uh, HP store is a subsidiary of uh, Gigatech which is based uh, in Bahada uh, above the BDO bank opposite McDonald's and Jollibee so um, so I was talking to the guy they have uh, there they have a uh, HP uh, 360 uh, what's it called Spectre very nice laptop very nice however it's only got 4 gig of RAM and it's only got 128 SSD um, so not particularly good not particularly big for me uh, I need something that needs to be 512 and around about 8 to, to 16 
uh, or gig. Uh, so design's very nice, can do what it can do. Um, so no. The prices though, this is the, the, the crunch part of it, the prices were identical to what the online HP store were offering which I find reassuring at that shop but they don't have the stock but their cards and the little sale, the sales guy there said that I should go to their area down at uh, down at Bahada so I'm going to go to their offices in Bahada tomorrow and see what I can actually get from HP uh, the HP Spectra Spectre looks pretty good um, so it's got a good good reputation uh, and and they will cover the warranty here in the Philippines for 12 months uh, whether they do if it goes wrong I don't know I don't know uh, but again they are a shop that sells HP with some very very nice branding but they have no HP support at the shop and the reason I'm sharing this information is if you come to the Phil if you if you're shopping in the States or you're shopping in the UK or you're shopping in Europe if you have a problem with something you've purchased at the shop take it back to the shop because the, the warranty sits with the person that shop, the shop that sells it to you it doesn't sit with somebody that you don't know nothing about but here in the Philippines it's a different different way of managing they take no responsibility they take no uh, accountability for the product if it goes wrong okay uh, they are looking to they what what I call in the UK sloping shoulders okay nothing on their shoulders if it lands here it will slip off Okay, it will run off their body because it has nothing to do with them. And they are looking, uh, and this is what I found, they are looking to, uh, a, to apportion any responsibility back to you, the person. So if it has a blemish on, on the outside of the computer, it's got like uh, a rub or a scratch it's your responsibility because it's a damaged product if they turn around and say uh, they have a 12 month ret returns and replacement policy it doesn't exist it doesn't exist and the reason it doesn't exist is because if you purchase something from Harry for 80,000 pesos Harry has already purchased that and he owns it now he may have he may own that for 12 months which means the warranty that he has has expired so there is no warranty on the product there is a warranty from the manufacturer on the product in the initial 12 month sales period but if Harry has owned that product for 12 months there is no warranty but they won't turn around and tell you that in the shop they won't explain that to you. So when you're buying a high-end electrical item in the Philippines, be very, very, very careful. Because you will lose your money. You will buy something that you don't know how it's been looked after in the period before you take ownership of it. You might have it in here buy a brand new laptop now the laptops I'm looking at I'm looking at a Dell XP 13 I'm looking at an HP uh, Spectra 360 I'm looking at a MacBook Pro uh, and I'm looking at uh, a Microsoft Surface Pro 7 they all four of those sit within the top six two-in-ones or laptops in the world can I find anywhere in the in the Philippines that will sell them there is a an official Apple shop in Manila but it's going to cost me 
4,000 pesos or 5,000 pesos to fly to Manila, but they might not have the stock. There is also a Microsoft shop selling Surface Pro 7s in Manila. However, when you contact them, the MacBook, the uh, Microsoft uh, Surface Pro 7 that they're selling is an Indian specification, not a US or English specification. So the difference being is the keyboard will be a different layout, the RAM will be a different level and it's manufactured in India, it's not manufactured um, under, under license back in the US with Microsoft, it's not manufactured in the UK uh, under license to Microsoft. So you have these all these little things you have to take into consideration when you're purchasing a high-end electric electronics goods but I need uh, a, a laptop uh, I need one and so I have to take the risk so somewhere along the line I will have this investigation I will have this journey I will have this ex exploration into the technical world of computers in Davao and the Philippines. I'm not going to go to Cebu and I'm not going to go to Manila. I'm not going to travel outside of the outside the Philippines because it's going to cost me a thousand pesos, a thousand dollars to travel anywhere once COVID-19. Um, my laptop is playing up. It's six years old. It's done what it's supposed to do. I need to find something else but what I don't want to do is I don't want to buy something that's going to give me more trouble I don't want to buy something that's going to be word of the week testicles it's going to be a load of testicles so anyway not to worry so that's uh, that's my vlog today um, I have a, uh, a gentleman called Arnold Galan uh, he sent me a message yesterday and he's a new subscriber to my channel Arnold, thank you very much for subscribing. I hope you're, you and your family are safe in Manila. Look after yourselves. If there's anything you would like me to vlog or look at in Davao, because your heart is in Davao, the same as my heart is in Davao, let me know and I will turn around and try and go and have a look. That could be an area of Davao. It could be.